internet access is really important to us when we're on the road and we've done a few videos on this. You can check out the full playlist of all the videos by clicking up here. Our current internet setup uses a Netgear router and an external antenna. There are loads of antennas to pick from, so how would you know which one's best and whether spending more equals a better signal? We're going to try out a few different ones, so keep watching to see what we find out. Don't miss any of our regular videos by hitting that subscribe button now. You can also check out our website at explorevan.uk for more details on our vans, trips and all the products we talk about. Trying to use a MiFi or a phone inside what is essentially a metal box causes real problems with signal strength and quality. So an external antenna is something that lots of people look at to make it possible to get a better signal in more areas. To use an external antenna, your equipment needs to have an external antenna connection and your antenna needs to have the right connections or a suitable adapter. Let's take a look at the antennas we're going to test. Let's start with the cheapest at 10 to 15 pounds. This is a twin pack of single element antennas from Bingfu. As our MiFi has a MIMO connection, so two sockets, we need to use two of these. Next in the price scale we've got this unbranded 3G 4G external LTE antenna at around 20 to 30 pounds. And finally we've got the pointing XPOL A0001 which is a 4G LTE antenna. It retails at around 70 to 80 pounds. As we go through this video, it will get a bit techy for those that want it, but you don't have to understand everything. At the end, I'll summarise and try to make it very clear what I think of each antenna. First, let's take a quick look at the quoted specifications, remembering these are what the manufacturer or retail has quoted. We'll see how they actually perform shortly. Let's start with the quoted frequency coverage. These are the bands used by UK mobile phone networks. There are some variations by network. We can see that all three antennas claim coverage of most of the bands used. However, Vodafone and 3 do use the 1400 MHz band on some congested towers, which the antennas don't cover. This shouldn't be an issue as the towers also support other bands. A point of note is that none of the antennas claim to cover the new 5G bands. This isn't a problem for us as neither does our MiFi, but if you are looking for an antenna for a 5G enabled MiFi, make sure to get a compatible one. The quoted gain of the antenna should tell us how effective it is at changing output power into radio waves and radio waves into an electrical signal. These quoted figures would suggest that the unbranded antenna is the best, followed by the Bing Fu, and then finally the pointing. But should we believe this, considering the pointing is the most expensive? This illustration demonstrates the difference between omnidirectional and directional. The light bulb sends light in all directions, whereas the torch sends that light in a directional beam. The same is true of antennas. All three of our antennas are omnidirectional. The reason we went with this is for the following reasons. We wanted to be able to use the internet when on the move. Obviously having to keep a directional antenna pointed at the tower while you're driving down the road isn't going to be possible. But even if you plan to use it when stationary, a directional antenna may not be the best option. That's because unless you have an uninterrupted perfect line of sight with the cell tower, the signal from the tower has probably bounced and reflected off many surfaces on its way to your antenna, meaning it could be coming from any direction. Also, if the tower you have a directional antenna pointed at gets congested or goes out of service, you may not be able to get a signal from another tower that an omnidirectional antenna would be able to. The type of cable used to connect the antenna introduces loss to the signal that the antenna sends and receives. 
The cable provided with the more expensive pointing is a higher quality and therefore you would expect to have less signal loss. Now that's out of the way, let's get on with some real life testing. We're going to try each antenna and measure the signal strength and quality on both the 3G and 4G network. We'll also measure the internet speed for uploading and downloading. We'll do this three times with each antenna to get an average. For those that want all the detail, here are our results. However, for those that just want to see what performed best where, I've simplified this in the following table. The cheapest antenna, the Bingfu, performed really well on 3G and pretty well on 4G. The unbranded, middle of the road antenna, was, wasn't very good at all on 3G, but performed really well on 4G. Finally, the most expensive antenna, the pointing, performed okay on 3G, but didn't perform very well at all on 4G. And at potentially eight times the cost of the cheapest, it really does answer the question. In this case, spending more wasn't better. So for our testing, our recommendation would be the Bingfu Twin Pack. Not only is it the cheapest, it's a good all-round antenna, and it's easy to install being mag mount and just able to pop it on the roof of your van. Thanks for watching our video, and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share, and consider subscribing.